We're going to start off with five rounds, all of which are the same but with different players. Two players per round, and the first one to get to the finish line is the winner. Assuming that at least one player from each round makes it to the finishing line, there'll be five different players in the final, and in that final, the one person who gets to the finishing line first is the winner. But to win, it's not easy. You will have an opponent who might well be trying to push your tractor over. You then have to slalom through some sticks over some turf with some saplings growing, and then drive down a tree-lined driveway. And before you can claim your victory, oh, you just have to, you know, drive over some, some sand. Welcome to the Insane Assault Course. Now in a second we're going to have all 16 players in the server. Six of them have to be spectating, ten of them are competing. Two of them per round, uh, so five rounds to begin with, and then the sixth round will be whoever is remaining. Uh, a maximum of five people, and uh, well, I, I don't know if there's going to be five. I, I think it's going to be a bit too challenging for that, but we'll soon find out. For those of you who don't fully understand the rules, I'm just going to put this on the screen really quickly, so if you do want to read this, just press pause, and we're going to move on. All the tractors are here, as you can see they're all fairly different, a good mixture. Uh, if this was to be super competitive uh, for a reward such as the DLC, if I do this in the future, then every tractor would be the same for fairness, but because yeah, there's no, no actual reward except for you know the satisfaction of winning, um, yeah, every tractor is going to be random. Okay, so here we are. Every tractor is now taken, um, and as you can see, We've got 10 players in the competing player section and 5 in players. So there is actually space for one more player to join in spectating. But that is fine. The, the main player team is now full. So to begin with, we have Fark and Yolo Swag 412. So that is round one. Here they come. Over to the starting line, which is just here. So they just have to be parked anywhere on the uh, the concrete area. Good, okay, that's fine. So the first thing they have to contend with is the posts. Anyway, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Uh. It's usually pretty tough getting through here. I have done it myself and it did take me a little while to find the best route. But so far, we've got Fark who is in the lead. Although mounting the cliff. Yep, okay, so they're coming through onto the turf area. Slightly uh, departing the arena there. Oh, that's the little sapling tree which is in the way. It is possible to get through though. Yellow Swag 412 is in the lead and getting over to the pond area. But it's all to play for. No, it isn't. Yolo Swag 4 and 2 is the winner. But can Fark complete it? Yes, they can. Well done. So Yolo Swag 4 and 2 goes to the final. Here comes round 2. Hopefully, I'm going to pronounce this correctly, but Duke, Kane, Lol, and Ted. Uh, the start line can be there, wherever, as long as they're equal. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Go. Uh. Ted is in the lead. It does narrow quite a bit here. Going for the posts. Uh, driving straight into the posts. It's always a, a possible way of doing it. Uh, yep, driving straight over the post and possibly coming through here. Nope, still stuck. Ted has made it through. UK and LOL is still uh, on the way. Over the turf, into the sapling tree. Everybody seems to crash into the sapling tree. It is the main target. And Ted is free. Ted is on the way. Ted is coming down here. I'm gonna, oh no, he's crashed into a tree. And then over the beach, over the bridge. It's gonna claim somebody. This is the finishing line. They have both made it, but Ted was first. Whoa, right on the finishing line, doing a pirouette. Nice. Round number three. The Irish Farmer and Melito 21. Three, two, one, go. Uh. Here they come. Oh, a bit of contact there already. Ramming into each other. The Irish Farmer is 
kind of first. Uh, yep, yeah, making it through there quite nicely as well. Although a bit of uh, manoeuvring is going to have to happen. Yep, the Irish farmer has made it through. Melito 21 coming up behind. Nice. Right, so into the sapling, past the sapling, and now travelling exactly the same speed, and onto the bridge over the pond. And uh, the Irish farmer is in. The Irish farmer has fallen off into the water, leaving Melito 21, who was quite a long way behind. Wow, okay, nobody from round number three has made it. Round number four, Rory and Hodge. Let's see if either of these two can make it through. Three, two, one, go. Rory did take a slight lead there. It has to be noted, but as there is no prize, it doesn't matter too much. Wow, a bit of contact as well. Hodge has rear-ended Rory, and Hodge is now on his side. Rory is now really barging through. Hodge is actually completely over there, but this is allowed. You are allowed contact in this game. But Rory has now got stuck. I will just clarify. Yes, all the, the rules were agreed in the Discord server prior to this taking place. Uh, Rory has crashed into the fence and has now got to navigate past the sapling tree, which everybody likes to crash into. Or nearly everybody likes to crash into it anyway. Yes, R Rory has also crashed into it. Well, why not? Let's now continue on to the pond area. There is still time for things to go pear-shaped. Here is Rory. Taking it steady over there, a wise choice considering it looks like only he is in the game. I think Hodge has remained on his side. Uh, Rory, well done. Rory goes through to the final. The arena is now cleared again, so we can have round number five. The last round, waiting very patiently over there. We've got Captain Simulation and Adzi. Okay, here we go. Three two, one, go. Uh. Exactly the same time setting off there, that's good. And Daddy has been pushed into the tree by Captain Simulation, but now Captain Simulation has been pushed up the cliff. Bit of a battle going on there. And they're off. <laughs> right, it looks like everybody is taking that route around there, but you still get caught out. It is still not that easy to negotiate. You've still got to get past those posts. But Addy is taking the lead. Captain Simulation is still very slowly uh, keeping up. Uh, can't quite see him yet. He's not on the turf. But he could still win. Because Addy might fall at the pond. Here comes Addy. Ah, that's, oh, Addy has fallen at the pond. Captain Simulation, it's all down to you. And Captain Simulation has fallen in exactly the same place. Swim, tractors, swim. Now we do only have three in the final, and there was a possibility of having five, so it's actually going to make it not as chaotic, which is quite surprising. Um, so it is Yellow Swag 412, Ted, and Rory. Hang about, we've got two Teds, and one of the Teds is not doing a thing. Ugh. I think it's glitched. Rory, Ted, and Yellow Swag 412. Here we go. Three. Two, one, go. Uh. Rory did take a cheeky lead there. But Rory has crashed. The penalty that has to be paid, completely blocking the way for everybody to get through. Uh, Teddy is going up the cliffside, and Rory is going around there. Teddy's going to be coming through here, it would appear. This is quite random. Yep, some different routes are being chosen. Rory has made it through. Yolo Swag 4 and 2, and then Ted. But, yep, still quite chaotic. A bit of pushing and shoving here as well. Time to take the lead. Ah, they can't both get through in one go. This is tough. That sapling tree really does cause a bit of an obstruction. It is doing its job well. I have trained it to do that. Uh, it looks like it's all a bit of a, a jam here. In fact, there's time for 
third place possibly go, go through here. Yolo Swag is going to reverse and come back down here too. But it looks like, yeah, it looks like there is now space for two of them to travel down here at the same time. But Rory has crashed into a tree. Now for the tense moment. Can everybody make it across here? Rory is very close there. I would have definitely given him a shove to make him go into the pond. Yes, he is in. Rory is in. Yolo Swag 4 and 2 is the winner. But can Ted finish? Come on, Ted. There's no rush. There is literally nobody behind you. <laughs> <laughs> but you've done very well because you have come in second place. Well done to everybody who participated. That was good fun. I enjoyed it, except Yolo Spike has just driven into the pond. I suppose it was a celebratory swim. If we do this again next time, I'm going to be expanding the arena. It's going to be going much further out that way. This will still be the finishing point, but we'll have much more uh, where the start line is. So it's going to be even more competitive and challenging. Plus, I'm going to try and make a few different rules to prevent those from setting off too early uh, and also if it does really work out well what we'll do is we'll have all the same tractors and I could even have a prize such as the DLC the upcoming DLC uh, for the winner so there we go thank you so much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed the video and until next time see you again very soon bye for now